human femur bone, no big deal. Guys, clear. I think the secret behind uh, the work that we did in uh, Fallen Kingdom was to merge both technologies, to cheat the eye of the audience so there is a moment that they don't know what they're watching, if that, what they're watching is real or not. And that is the goal. When you create something that looks 100% real and you cannot tell if, if it's animatronic or CGI. J.A. Bayona is an incredible filmmaker and particularly genius when it comes to frightening people. <laughs> he just understands suspense and, and particularly creatures, monsters, and what is so scary. And oftentimes what's so scary is when you don't see the monster until the very, very, very last minute and just at just the right moment, in just the right way, the monster is exposed in a way that just will um, haunt you for the rest of your life. Baba. Baba. Deep breaths, Franklin. <laughs> effects but you would never know the thing looked so real so it felt like I really was operating on a real animal and after a while we all grew this relationship toward this thing it, it just having it look so real made it feel that more imminent the task to save her You're all right. easy girl I mean, they had one person controlling, dilating the pupils, one controlling the eyelids, one controlling the nostrils, the cheeks as she breathed, her jugular as she as it pumped, each of her hands and claws and her neck and everything. There was a team of like 12 guys underneath doing a very fine choreographed dance to make her look real. I'm so it only responds to Michael's voice. Can you buy justice? Can you buy justice? Put your honey here. The raptor was so, it sweat, it drooled, it blinked, it had eye fluid, it, I mean, it was, it breathed, uh, it was just the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And it took, also took like eight guys, I think, to operate it. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> And the last movie was pretty physical as well, but this one is really physical. It's like dive rolling out of the backs of trucks and diving off of stuff and landing in water. We do have a whole sequence that we shot in water that took maybe a week or something. Got great big fight sequences. It's, they've taken the action hero element that worked in the first movie and, and expanded on that a little bit for this movie.